A very good afternoon to my supervisor, Dr. Evila binti Junaidi and Nazimina. I am Muhammad Hamza Mizan bin Muhammad Nasuha with the minute number of 6496A. And today I will present about my final year topic which is about the application of algebraic design in two-in-one multi-purpose tools. This is my, my outline present uh, which is starting from background of study and then methodology and next result and discussion and finally the conclusion. According to the Malaysia Palm Oil Council 2011, Malaysia account for 25.8% and 34.3% of global palm oil production and export in 2020, respectively. Due to the high demand in every year, the area of palm oil planted has been increased until 4.917 million hectares in 2011. Based on the trend of land area by palm oil in Malaysia 2011, we believe that it is not impossible if the demand keeps constantly increase here by year. So, we believe that we cannot rely on the existing harvesting mechanism for palm oil as we need something more faster for harvesting the palm oil fruit. This is the picture of evolution of the harvesting and grass cutting tools. As you can see, there is no two-in-one multiple tools that involving harvesting and grass cutting in one machine. So the problem that the farmer faces during harvesting their own palm oil orchard is that firstly, the ground of the oil palm tree was covered with dead and dried leaf and grass. This made the process of harvesting getting difficult as the farmer need to cut the grass first before harvesting the palm oil fruit to avoid overlook while collecting the palm oil fruit. Second, the terrain of the farm is not on the same level so that is dangerous for the farmer to harvest using the sickle or chisel while harvesting and it can cause a slip and lastly, the most of the condition of the palm oil tree itself was covered with fern. As we can see, higher the palm oil tree, the more difficult for the farmer to get rid of the fern. So the objective of, the, of this thesis is to evaluate the functional requ requirement of the analysis on the oil palm harvesting technique by using us of quality. Secondly, to conceptual design of two-in-one multiple tools via algebraic design process. And lastly, to evaluate the strength of the two-in-one multiple tools via finite element analysis, which is FPA. For the methodology part, before proceed to the design evaluate, a survey was conducted at Kampung Farid Haji Abdul Hamid Doho to identify the problem that the farmer faces in maintaining their farm and harvesting. After that, all the information was gathered and be evaluated into the house of Q for each of its functional requirements. Next, based on the HOQ, a new concept design has been evaluated based on the needs and functional requirements from the HOQ by using the algebraic design process. Before proceed to the design evaluation, each design will be test its strength using the finite element analysis based on the material use. Lastly, a new concept design will be evaluated after all the analysis has been done. As a result, the slide showed the house of quality which was built based on the response to the customer requirement as its engineering characteristic and parameter. In this phase, the current existing harvesting tools called Status Evo was used as the benchmark for the new evaluation of the concept design. After analyzing the house of, house of Q, there is about two best concept design has been developed as shown in the slide. So before we going through um, to the selection of the concept through algebraic design, by assessing the objective as well as the customer need, four functional criteria and design parameter were identified. The functional criteria consists of harvesting and grass cutting, ease of storage, ease of operation and maintenance and protection of people during tools usage. While for the design parameter, it will be consist of T cell and string three my head, portable system, user friendly and safety. This, this is the detailed design for the concept one in terms of design parameter. In this concept, they will have four DPs, which is consist of multi-purpose um, tools for a lot of the tools um, run in two ways concept, which is harvesting and grass cutting. The second DP is about the adjustable pole for ensure that the length of the pole is suitable for both purpose. 
and this adjustable pole can reach at height of 5 meter for harvesting and 2 meter long for the purpose of grass cutting and the third DP is switching mode with throttle for operate in two different ways either uh, for harvesting or grass cutting purpose while the throttle is used um, to control the power and the last DP is about the safety tools for guide the user face and body from any flying debris Next is the digital design for the concept 2 which also consists of a DP The description of the DP in concept 2 is similarly uh, with concept 1 but different in function for DP tools uh, for the safety tools DP In this, in this concept, um, it has the back cushion which is uh, built for make sure that the user feel comfortable while using the machine and for the purpose of health So um, here are the functional requirements of the concept 1 which is a uh, process of first level and second level while um, here are the result parameters for concept 1 same as before as a uh, first level and second level so based on the functional requirement and design parameter of concept 1 a design matrix uh, for the first and second level of the, of the FRs and DPs were analyzed by using the concept of executive design for the concept 1, the first level of FR and DP matrix show um, an uncoupled design and it can say that the design is acceptable for the second level of FR1 and DP1, the matrix demonstrates that the design has um, neither a couple nor decoupled design for the first second level of FRS and DP, which is regarded as a poor design. For the FR2 and DP2, the matrix relation for this um, subsystem reveals that this design is a decoupled design, which is regarded to be a good design approach. And next, for the FR3 and DP3, the metric re relation demonstrate an, an uncoupled design based on the metric relation presented above. As a result, this uh, concept design um, thought to have a nice design. The metric connection revealed that the um, idea exhibit an uncoupled design for the last second level of FFRs and DPs, indicating that all functional criteria are covered by um, a design parameter. So next, um, here is the functional requirement for the concept 2. Um, same as concept 1 has um, one level and two level and here is the design, design parameter of concept 2 same, same as before first level and second level so uh, basically based on the design metric for the first and second level of FRs and DPs in concept 2 the result of the metric was slightly same as concept 1 which means that the design parameter satisfied all the functional criteria so um, as a result concept 2 uh, is selected as the finished concepts were designed since most of its FRs was satisfied by its DPs and its metric um, suggests that its design is superior to the design exhibit in concept 1 um, so here are um, the detailed description and function of the second level um, of DPs for the concept 2 which is consists of one way operating um, low density material external thread and internal thread concept dimension minimization two mode of function which is switching mode uh, speed throttle, back cushion, com composite uh, which is coming fiber pole and cutting attachment guard so next um, is, the, uh, is my last objective which is uh, involving the finite element analysis uh, finite element analysis was used in material selection phase uh, before running into the analysis um, each of the part um, that uh, wanted to analyze, analyze need to be matched to make sure that it can perform and accurate simulation in FPA. Um, so uh, in this FPA, I choose G cell and um, adjustable pole since um, these two part will um, will receive the maximum load from the um, palm oil fruit itself. So for the first part, which is G cell part. Uh, there is two different type of material which is carbon steel and spring steel was used to be compared in its uh, deformation stress and strain um, I choose the carbon steel and spring steel because these two type of material is quite popular um, now, nowadays in um, making a T cell so, so I compare the two types of these two type of material so here are the data from FPA and um, as, as you can see, um, 9260 spring steel was chosen as it deformed less uh, compared to carbon steel. So for the adjustable pole, same as um, G-cell, I choose um, two different types of material which is aluminum alloy and carbon fiber um, become, to be compared um, in its deformation, strength and strain. 
I choose um these two type um same um as the reason for the TSL um these two type is quite popular uh to use as 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 a poll for agricultural tools. So here are the data from FEA and carbon fiber was choose in the form as it as it deform less compared to aluminium alloy and as we all know carbon fiber is more lighter than aluminium alloy. So um the more length of the pole the more heavy of the pole so we need to use uh, the light material um, since uh, to to make the user feel comfortable while harvesting the farm fruit so in in conclusion evaluating the functional requirement using hhoq which is house of quality helps in conceptual design of two in one multiple tools next other design assist in the phase of design decision making process of two in one first tools in improving the product quality and enhance the creativity and lastly final element analysis FEA helps in comparing the static uh, structural analysis of two in one tools in the phase of material selection and let us know to choose the best material for the design concept I think that's all for me thank you